right guys once again picking off where I left off with the thought of if if you were selling to hold all the way to these high numbers but you also knew that it was going to be this low then why are you making why are you insinuating I'll call it insinuating so you guys know I didn't tell anybody what to do you insinuated that we hold up to here but it could go down here so why am I holding through all this loss why am I holding through all this loss I could have sold it when it ran recently in the, you know, maybe I didn't get the 34, but maybe I would have hit at 25 and get out at 25, rebuy at 10, take all that profit. Now I have a shit ton more shares. So I'm not sure that this plan was ever even a good plan at the beginning. What really happened is, and what I've not, what I've been saying in a lot of videos earlier was, where's Wall Street Bets? When this all started, you actually heard from this group somewhere ready or whatever hey wall street bet says they're buying today that's how we got here they they stopped talking about this shit all the early youtubers they stopped talking about this shit for whatever reason they either sold off they don't talk about it this was then picked up by i'll tell you who the a father and lou versus wall street they started picking it up after that and they've been guiding the community a father just doing it from the crazy man uh, cheerleader uh, situation, but a father, you know, you deserve a lot of credit, whether that's bad or good. The community can decide that for why people are still here and why they've held up to this point. Lou, for sure, Lou, you were about like if I were to say percentage between those two, I would say it'd be like seventy thirty, and that's only because a father shit is just ape shit crazy like you know like it was funny like in the beginning it was like it was funny like look at this guy he's so fucking crazy about this stock it made you kind of like shit then maybe he must be right but then after a while i was like wait you're doing this shit every day the stock's not going anywhere but down um so you kind of stop paying attention but then you started paying attention to the guy with the uh the conspiratorial language of like i know this and i know that and blah 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 and you started entrusting that guy and unfortunately for a year and a half, the stock's only gone that way down. And he's insinuated that you continue to hold. And through that whole time, he never showed you skin in the game and you accepted that. I didn't, I didn't accept that. I've been questioning it for a long time. And you know, it's, it's kind of disturbing when you get all these reactions and it's, it's always in the comments, and, but the comments then drive the creator and drive the real people's position there you know you start making a move with the stock that has to do with selling then they come and jump on you with the tax implications you get all the tax experts um you get all the oh you help the shorts in this situation now they've got shares to cover you get all this bullshit that basically says i'm telling you to hold and all you guys keep telling everybody you're not financial advisors but then when you fucking go crazy that somebody sold that's kind of that you guys got to be careful with that you got to be real careful with that my quick thoughts on the ta taxic implications listen i'm going to give you a casino reference a lot of casinos especially down here in florida locally um they have promotions they're called high hands um you play poker and the highest hand in the whole room uh they give you like a bonus 500 500 dollars a thousand dollars or whatever but a real poker player doesn't go there to play for that. He's not playing bad hands in order to potentially hit that high hand in order to get that bonus. Because in the long term, you're going to lose a lot of money doing that. You go there and you play the correct winning poker way. And if you hit that, that's a plus. But you don't play for that. Okay, so what does this reference mean? This reference means that... I have to play AMC in the way that I see fit in order to make money and everybody else should do that too. If you're worried about, listen, the IRS ain't going nowhere. You don't know my tax situation anyway. I've lost so much money in the stock market that they owe me tax breaks going forward because they only let you claim a certain amount every year. So you can't possibly tell a community of AMC holders that if you sell, then you lose capital gains uh, break or whatever the fuck. You don't know my tax situation. You don't know if I owe the IRS money. You don't know if I, uh, they owe me uh, a break from multiple losses in prior years. You don't know any of that stuff. That's why I tell you guys, you're not tax experts and you don't know each individual's tax situation. So stop selling that narrative. 
I'm gonna end this one. I'm gonna make another one. If you motherfuckers want to watch it, you watch it. If you don't, you don't. What can I tell you? I'm I'm spitting some good game. I'm telling you some real shit because I got skin in the game. So I'm. I, it's coming from here. Okay. It ain't coming just from here. It's coming from in here. John Wick sniping is out on this one.